Hi there, I'm Karen Najelski with 360 Alberta, and I'm here at the Innisfree uh, Del Norte School Awards presentations tonight, and I'm joined today with Wendy Nod, who is the School Council Chair for Innisfree Del Norte School. So welcome to our show. Thank you very much, Karen. So I want to talk a little bit today, Wendy, about um, the conditions that are kind of facing the Innisfree School, which I know are not unique to just this school. So let's talk a little bit about what's been happening at the Innisfree School. Right. So first of all, Innisfree School is not alone in this. Um, this is happening in rural Alberta. Our, as our student population decreases, obviously there's less students in our school. Um, it's not only an industry school problem, it's not only a Buffalo Trail problem, it's a rural Alberta. And it's not a problem, it's just the way that our, our communities are developing, right? And our, our small towns are getting smaller. Um, it's a, I think, and, and we've talked about it numerous times, Alberta Ed needs to look at a different formula for rural schools compared to city schools, just because of the population. Right. Yeah. So the formula being um, however much um, Alberta education allocates per child, per student, yes. per student per in student. every school, yes, for it sure. maybe needs to be adjusted yeah. for the smaller school setting. Yeah, they, I think they need to look at, at our, our challenges in rural Alberta and with, uh, with our declining um, enrollment is what needs to happen, I think. Um, you know, there are some, some situations as, you know, a couple years ago they changed um, how our funding was for our, our high school credits. And, and it didn't make as big of an uh, issue in the city schools, but it really did hit our schools. Growing up in a small community for me was probably the best thing that could have ever happened to me. Um, it, I just feel like kids who grew up in small towns, they develop different qualities than those who maybe grew up in bigger city, cities. I feel like we're more involved um, in the community and we're more involved in our school. Um, you kind of have to be in order to get everyone engaged. It's uh, very important important that the youth actually becomes involved early on. How has uh, the enrollment affected the school? Um, as most small rural places have noticed, the population is going down. So with fewer students coming, you get fewer, um, less funding for your school. So seven years ago, we had over 90 students. Today, we have 70 students that were funded for our school this year. So that means trying to offer quality program with the same amount of teachers is impossible. So we've had to cut staff and that means fewer teachers doing more in your classrooms. It also means having to group our classrooms differently where we had split grades, we now have triple grades in some classroom settings. The Buffalo Trail School Board is going to be hosting a meeting for the community because looking at our numbers in the elementary with the grades so small, the feasibility of the school is in jeopardy because with not more younger children coming up into our school, it makes it harder to keep it open. So on November 26, they are coming to talk to the community and hear the community's input on how we can make Innisfree Del Norte School still a vibrant functioning part of the community. This is not the only school facing um, similar um, problems, so please come on down on November 26 and join the group yes. and uh, see what we can do to make a plan for the Innisfree Del Norte School.